Welcome to this short video report on response of Dolly Chili land races to heat and drought stress. This project is being implemented at the installation Dynafeno, the Department of Food Science House University. Hi, this is Damodar from Trivogan University, Nepal. I am working in the field of crop improvement and variety development. My research focus is carbon assimilation and physiology of plant subjected particularly to abiotic factors including heat and drought. I received the information about the EPPN 2020 call from Professor Karl Otto Ottosan and got this opportunity from EPPN. I arrived here in September 20, which was actually delayed by travel restrictions imposed due to COVID-19 pandemic. However, we could manage the nursery of the chilies well in advance. The first experiment has been started since October 1st uh, to estimate responses of early stage plants to the heat and drought environments. Dalit chili is a land race from Nepal. I am particularly looking at traits like chlorophyll fluorescence, gas exchange, leaf temperature, leaf pigments and stomatal anatomy from the plants at their early vegetative as well as pre-flowering stage. Now I could see from the preliminary data that there are some differences among the nine genotypes regarding to the assimilation. It is always important to understand the complexities of genotype environment interactions for improved production of chili land races under adversities like heat and drought. In this connection, the access to the modern phenotyping facilities at Dynafeno has great importance for me. By this, I could accomplish one of the major experiments. I am really excited to learn the latest plant phenotyping techniques with the chili land races. In my opinion, this type of opportunity of access to installation should be continued in the future also, so that new scientists will get chance and the fellow scientists can complete their next experiments. Scientists are exploring the typical gene pool for finding climate smart varieties. I believe that this type of networking will help spreading modern European plant phenotyping techniques and experiences in the scientific community. Thank you.